Okay, I am here on the east coast of Florida, and this location here will be a good location to explain how a riptide works. And what happens is under the water, the ocean makes a series of kind of like sandbars, if you want to think of it like that, from the wave action. And these sandbars create these, you know, kind of like little dams. And from the waves, the water gets caught behind these sandbars, but in a uh, deeper, larger quantity in the water. And what happens is there's a point where the sandbar can't hold back the water anymore. And so a uh, opening happens under the water. And as you can see here, here's one of these openings and you can see how the water is coming out. But of course, deeper in the water with stronger wave action, you know, this is, uh, this would be a lot more water coming out and it pushes out into the sea and that's what creates your riptide. That's what, um, if you get caught in a riptide, that's um, why you find yourself getting farther and farther away from the uh, beach. And then you'll also notice there's a discoloration of the water where the riptide is. And that's of course the, the sand being picked up from the bottom as the water gushes out. Now if you get caught in a riptide, the very first thing you want to do is don't panic, don't freak out. Just, you know, realize that you're in a riptide and the second thing you want to do is figure out which way the overall ocean current is going. Like here on the east coast, you know, these waves come straight in. There's really no, there's no shift in, in the lines. Uh, but on the west coast, you know, you definitely do get a drift. You know which way you're going down the beach. So in a riptide, what you want to do is you want to swim opposite of that drift. So you don't want to, you know, try to swim directly back into shore. You want to swim opposite of the drift because what happens with the riptide is it drifts with the current on the beach. And so obviously you don't want to stay with that. So you want to swim opposite of, of that. So kind of like parallel to the beach. The other thing you'll notice in the riptide is um, the waves are not coming in like um, like you'll see the waves down along the beach. It'll, it'll look more like a choppy water. That's how you'll know you're in a riptide as well. So as you're swimming parallel to the beach, you're going to be looking at the waves and you're going to be looking for them to, uh, you know, where they're, they're looking like normal sets again coming in. And also the water will clear up. It won't be as um, murky. And once that happens, then you can start swimming into uh, back into shore. It only takes a couple of minutes. And, uh, you know, catch a wave and get yourself back into shore and everything will be fine. So that is a quick above above the above the beach example of what's going on under the water and how a riptide works